welcome back to full drive adventure crew and in this episode we're doing some upgrades to my jeep it is spring and we had a very tough winter lots of trips it's time to go over some of the stuff that needs to be adjusted and some things that need to be upgraded because i'm getting ready for some big trips on some big rocks and i need some more upgrades to be able to get through all that stuff without having any issues so firstly we'll start off that we need to swap out my hubs because they're making a lot of noise on the gladiator axle and we're gonna be removing these things called leaf springs and we're gonna be putting in some four links right down there i got some joints and some tubes and we gotta go over some of the stuff like um bolt over there is backed out because i've been going out way too many times without actually checking if there's anything wrong with the car and i noticed lately that my four low was popping out so i guess that's what it is my transmission is not bolted all the way so i'll get onto it start checking what i need to do to get the four link in there stay tuned One side of the U-bolts is out and these are from rough stuff the 5 8 U-bolts now we just got to do the other side yay bolts are off so I can start clearing out my brake lines need to be moved from the top of the uh, truss down so I can put the upper link mount up on top of that truss and I gotta remove some zip ties some wiring for the locker and then that air tank needs to go and I need to relocate my charcoal canister. So there's still a lot of work to do here before I can even start mocking anything up. Well, this is my truss side top mount and we're doing horizontal himes on here. And this is where it's going to go on top. Let's see if it fits in there pretty nicely. Well, i got to do some clearing. Some grinding down. But I think this thing will sit here right about there. And then it's going to have the links go that way. Which I still need to clear all the stuff to put the brackets in on the frame side. And that should be pretty good. The only problem is, is I've got barely any room to work in here with a grinder or anything like that because it's so tight because of the gas tank and everything else. So I might have to just clear it, tack it in place, and do the tube measuring first. And then we're going to have to take the axle out and weld it nicely so still a lot of work to do we're just doing the mock-up stage Well, 
I'm laying here under the Jeep doing some tape measure and a marker calculations. So from where my axle is, this bracket needs to go right around here where these blue markings are. And this is not an easy thing to hold. So that's going to be approximately right here. And then we can build a cross member, which is lines up perfectly where my double carton is, which means the links are going to be protecting the drive shaft if we go any bigger over big rocks. So just got to add a plate in here, about six inch by three and a half to tie it in into my frame stiffener because the bottom is a 3 16 and I think I'll add a 1 8 up here and that should hold it perfectly in place well, got that cleared up so this piece of steel can go in here like so and we can weld it all the way around and reinforce the side of the channel so I can weld to here and here Well, I got this thing kind of tacked in place. I got the plate fully welded in all the way around. I just put two tacks on this side. So we can do some measurements without holding one thing in my hand. So I need to know if I need to move it back and forth or not. But that would be the next thing to tack. And then we can test out the tube. Too bad I don't have any PVC piping. Maybe I have to run down at Home Depot and grab some so I can test them out, see what the links look like. I had to put the tire back in here because I needed to see where the link comes in relation to the tire. And it looks like I still have enough separation even if I run really low PSI. I should be clearing it so it's just tacked in for me to check the angles and stuff. So, but that looks pretty nice. And say hi to little Michael over there. He's helping me out collecting sockets everywhere. So, now we just gotta figure out the triangulation of the upper links. And uh, tack the upper one up in there. And I think we're gonna be pretty close. I'm keeping the leaf springs in here for me to make sure that it stays at the right height because then we're gonna remove them and put in coil springs in there so yep that's what we're doing here well i got the uh, second link in that is going over to the uh, truss i got that tucked tacked in the place and it uh, looks like i don't have much space over here so i might have to massage the body right here to make sure when I'm flexing I don't bend my control arm but so far I like the triangulation of it it's really cool all right it's lunch time I need to go have some lunch well it's been a few hours since I last checked in I have both sides ready to go I did all the mock-up and they already finished welding all the brackets together so now we just gotta weld them straight to the vehicle and we'll be starting on creating all the links and finish welding the links and then what i gotta do is i gotta channel the frame here and then box it in so i can Put coils in here but until I get all the links finalized I cannot pull the leaf springs out because otherwise it's gonna derail the whole project and make it be crooked and that's not something that I want I want to get this thing spot on so it's all gonna be good as it was so the wheel is still centered in the wheel well and all that stuff so we'll keep fighting with it well yesterday I finished 
welding everything and uh, painting so all the links are all done even going back to the axle and everything so they're all adjusted so now we're just gonna remove the leaf springs and start frenching the uh, frame so we can fit the springs in but yeah everything turned out to be pretty cool I think it's a little bit overkill using a two inch quarter wall tubes for the upper links but for these heim joints I didn't have uh, any other option I didn't want to go uh, 120 wall because it would be too weak and this is the next best option I had so I don't think I'll be bending any uppers lowers might get banged up on the rocks right around here somewhere but time will tell how much of this uh, we'll have to replace down the road but still a lot of work to figure out my exhaust because it's coming from here and it needs to go somewhere that way without touching any of the links so I think I'll have to run it in through right here and then kind of bend over to go that way but it's gonna have to be all tucked in really high still a lot to figure out well, testing the articulation of this thing. And so far looking good. I got the tire stuffed all the way in. And I uh, need to bump stop it now. Because it is, the spring on the shock is still not maxed out, which is good. So I need to bump stop it. And I need to do some measurements for that. The other side is actually almost on the ground and the shock here is maxed out so I have to get myself uh, some limiting straps. That's just part of the program of uh, building a custom rear suspension. Welcome back to a new day and uh, just wanted to show the progress so far so I got all the links mounted, completely welded up everything's good to go so we have everything uh, painted and so today I'll be working on notching the frame out uh, to make space for a coil I'm gonna flatten this up there's a, a ridge rib that I gotta notch and get it rid of I uh, gotta clean a lot over here and then we're gonna notch a little bit here so I can put a, a coil perch I don't want to get rid of this because it's already been welded solidly in here and it's not in my way at all so i'm gonna leave that here in case i ever have to go back to a leaf spring or something else or if i upgrade to bigger axles down the road i don't know i just don't want to get cutting this tube out or anything like that so we're just gonna keep that here notch it out uh the springs that we're gonna go on the rear because the three and a half inch from a zj they are not high enough and I don't want to use any spacers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my rough country's front coil springs and there I'm running about three inch spacer on here and what I'm gonna do is I got the second hand metal clock six inch lift kit springs for the front and we're gonna put those on the front take from the front put them on the back and that will be the way we're gonna run stuff because by calculation the ones on the front should go in the rear and on the right height they should be exactly the same height as I had with my leaf springs because I really like the right height that's why I had all the uh, spacers and all that stuff on the leaf springs which that's pretty much the whole reason I'm getting rid of because I want articulation so let's get started
Well, I got one of the uh, frame sides opened up. So now I just gotta bend some metal because this is a very flimsy. I don't want the spring to touch in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reinforce this one, one eight plate. It's gonna go all the way in there. And then we're gonna close off the walls with more one eight steel plate. So my coil is gonna sit right about here. So I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna bring this up and weld that up. So that way it's uh, nice and strong. Because the last thing I want is to have any issues when I'm flexing. So I got everything cut out. I got some uh, metal that I need to uh, cut out some stuff. So I'm gonna bust out my welder and my plasma. I'm gonna cut pieces out that I need to weld in into those cutout channels. shape this I cut out this piece of six by seven with the plasma cutter and then uh, bent the edge in so it can go where it needs to go so what I gotta do now is calculate where my spring upper spring retainer is gonna go because I'll have to weld this on all the way around before I can weld this inside the Jeep so I need to measure center it and then uh, tack it in there and then weld this in before i can weld that inside the jeep Took some time, but I got one column in. So I Frenched the system, and uh, now we can do the other side. Well, I got the uh, the bottom plate welded in place. Don't need too much welds on there because it's just gonna sit on here. But here's the shock, I mean the spring in there. And uh, it's a little crooked because of the angle, I guess, of the plate, but with some bump stops, we'll be good to go. Because the fronts are not straight either. If you look at it, they're, they're bending as well. So that's just nature of this thing. If it would be coilovers, that would be completely different, but no budget for coilovers. Let's keep on moving. side is done as well so now I need to retrieve the coils out of the front as I'm looking at everything I'm gonna measure them unloaded uh, 
with this spring I need only a one inch lift so what I might do is instead of putting that little half inch rubber boot to hold it up top to center it I'm probably gonna use the one inch spacer from the front to put in there and then at the bottom I'm gonna have hockey pucks as bump stops and that should be good to where the coil will not jump out no matter what kind of articulation I'm gonna have so it's been a long day my face is dirty gotta clean up the garage so I can move on to a second stage because I can't find any tools or anything around here because it's a mess it's pure mess here so time to clean up Well, got the four wheels back on the Jeep. All the suspension is uh, done. Coils are standing somewhat straight. I still gotta put the bump stuff inside and paint whatever I notched. So, but with the uh, new springs in the front, the uh, Jeep is uh, two inches lower and that doesn't leave uh, much space on that shock for me before it hits bump stops. So I guess I have to lift the front by two inches and uh, I think that's about it. The rear is uh, where I like it. It's only an inch lower than I had it before with leaf springs, but it's a lot softer now. So I can actually move it around by hand and uh, it's pretty smooth. So that should make it a lot smoother. I think that's it for today. I'll continue either on next weekend or sometime during the week if I have time because uh, it is busy at work and everything so we'll see but we'll get it done and then we'll go out and test it <laughs>